Hi, I'm Streaky from Streaky.com. Today, I'm reviewing the PSI Avers. These are the Ava Active Bass Traps. They're from PSI Audio. You may remember a couple of weeks ago, I reviewed their smaller 17 speakers. Now they pride themselves on being 100% analog, no DSP. So it's all kind of in the, tech, the sort of R&D technology that they've built up over the years. They've been going since the 70s. They've been around for a long time doing stuff for other people. They're now doing a lot more of their own products. This one is something special, to be honest. With most rooms, you're always going to be able to treat the high frequency frequencies really easily. As long as you've got your reflection points covered off, you've got plenty of trapping, the high frequencies, you can sort those out themselves. Most rooms have trouble with the low end. So a lot of people these days are working in smaller rooms. They're not working in rooms that have had sort of acousticians in where they've come in and got some bass traps and they've, you know, made them for the room so that they're, you know, they've worked out what all the different reverb times are and stuff like that. To get your bass under control, you would need literally a couple of meters deep of rock wall or some absorbent material to be able to trap the energy that's being made from the low end from about 150 down. So you can only do so much in a room without losing too much space. So that's where these come in really handy because the way these work roughly is there is a microphone in them so they hear the sound of the bass that's going on under 150 hertz and then the trap works to remove that waffle and that muddy sound in the low end. It's kind of like a reverse subwoofer. So you can see the size of them. They're pretty heavy. They're kind of wedge shaped. So the ideal places to put them is in corners where you get a lot of build up of bass. I've got two of them. They say you should maybe have four, but I think two's enough in the size room that I have. I put them at the back first of all, but I found that as soon as I put them at the front where I had a lot of build up by the speakers, they worked sort of twice as good as they did from the back of the room. So switching them in and out, the sound of them, it takes strips the kind of bass of all that woolly heaviness that's in the low end that you would normally probably try and EQ out or you would try Try and compress it to hold it together to try and get some kind of tight bass going. So what it does, it clears that area and then you can hear the bass that's going on, you can hear the speakers better and so you can actually give much more detailed result in the low end rather than trying to EQ out your room. The problem is a lot of the times when you can't hear your speakers, you could have the best speakers in the world but if the room's terrible then you're not going to be able to hear those speakers so you're literally wasting your money buying some expensive speakers. So that's where these boys come in they clear that out by clearing that out they also above the 150 they can clear some of the fog away from the mid-range which is really nice because then you get a, a much better stereo image from it so they're helping in the tops and the bottom because they're really just clearing up a lot of those kind of room modes that are going on so do I like them I really do like them, they're great. I mean, I, fortunately, they do come with a remote control, and so I'm able to switch them in and out so I can hear exactly what's going on. I don't think you can do that at a switch of a button with your treatment in your room, so you have to kind of hit and hope. With these, you can move them around and then, you know, switch them in and out. They say, PSI, that it's like losing your back wall. Um, you don't get that kind of cancellation either that you would normally receive. They're about 2,000 pounds, I think, each, so it's not the cheapest option but it actually does work and the great thing about these is that they obviously are removable so if you're building bass traps and building in your room that's kind of dead when the room dies these you can take on tour with you you can take to other studios so if you're working from somewhere a bit similar to if you're using room correction software you can take these put them up and then sort of clear out the low end which is great so these are kind of like a bit of equipment that lasts quite a while so what I'll do now is I'll do before and after I'll switch them in and out so you can hear how it strips that low end out and then it clears that fog in the top end so yeah no calibration needed put it in the corner suddenly it clears up your bass so that's the Ava from PSI Audio so before we cut to the before and after if you like this kind of thing please remember to subscribe and ring the bell if you aren't a member of my newsletter then go to streaky.com sign up that's where I give discounts it's only once a month I send out a newsletter it gives discounts and all kinds kinds of things uh, that I can't do on YouTube. I can point you in the direction of certain things and tell you other stuff. So go to streak.com, sign up. Once a month, you'll get a newsletter. So here we go. Here's the before and after the Ava. I hope it turns out all right. Thanks for watching. Bye.